E. E. Cummings, or Edward Estelin Cummings, is a famous writer who is known for his lyric and love poetry, along with being responsible for paving the way for modern love poems. At a younger age, E. E. Cummings began writing a poem a day from the ages of 8 to 22, and this is usually what's credited as being key to his literary interest and growth. He would go on to attend Harvard University, where he would begin using poems as visual objects, or what is now commonly known as concrete poetry, and began ignoring conventional punctuation and syntax. Years later, after the beginnings of World War I, he would work for an ambulance service in order to escape the war and would meet many interesting people, including soldiers, civilians, and other members of the ambulance service itself. Near the end of the war, he would be imprisoned in Normandy for five years on accounts of treason, where he spent large amounts of time in a large open cell that he would go on to write The Enormous Room about, which was a fictionalized account of his imprisonment. E. E. Cummings was known for his general flippant or relaxed look on what would normally be considered serious topics, which was first shown in The Enormous Room. He was infatuated with the topic of love and would explore it throughout his life. In his more early works and poems, he w his take on love would tend to be more erotic and sexual, but as he aged, he would describe love with more dignity. Years later, he would take a travel to Russia, hoping to find the communist revolution would have transformed the country into a better nation for expression and art, but was sadly disappointed. He grew increasingly horrified and disgusted by what he saw there and turned his journal about the times there into a travel diary called Aimi, which compared his travels through Russia to Dante's Inferno and descending deeper into hell. He would also write a play that was usually considered grotesque and disturbing by many audiences entitled Him, which was a series of scenes about the main character, him, and his love interest, me, taking place mostly within the circus. E. Cummings would go on to be known for his different perspective on poetry, which key points revolved around poetry being rather than having any real meaning. Furthermore, his childlike or uncaring mood towards more traditional topics, dislike of the urban, mass mind, and conventional patterns of thought would firmly place him as someone who changed the love genre and poetry forever. I carry your heart with me. I carry your heart with me. I carry it in my heart. I am never without it. Anywhere I go, you go, my dear. And whatever is done by only me is your doing, my darling. I fear no fate, for you are my fate, my sweet. And I want no world, for beautiful you are my world my true and it's you are whatever a moon has always meant and whatever a sun will always sing is you here is the deepest secret nobody knows here is the root of the root and the bud of the bud and the sky of the sky of a tree called life which grows higher than the soul can hope or mind can hide and this is the wonder that's keeping the stars apart i carry your heart I carry it in my heart.